Hello guys, I am back with a new video finally. Uh, I was busy with my university thesis, so the new video uh, which I, I was busy with my with it myself uh, is using uh, two virtual machine or more than that for uh, analyzing malware using Cuckoo Sandboxy. So using uh, one virtual machine is uh, not a big deal. So you just need to edit some part of the virtual box conf in the cuckoo folder and that's all but using more than that you need to make more configuration so what we are going to do now is this is a virtual box conf is in the etc i save my cuckoo with etc you can save it anywhere uh, usually people don't suggest you to put it in etc because then uh, everyone can have the access so etc and this is my cuckoo so inside cuckoo there's a conf folder as you know, all the configuration folders are here, files are here, the cookie is here, Axinor is here, uh, malware is here, you can use it for a malware classification. And um, these are your virtual machine, uh, your virtual machine, yeah, so it's the Xen server, it's VMware, VirtualBox, and KVM, or others, I don't know. So we go to VirtualBox, I open it already. Yes. So if you notice, the first paragraph is uh, telling you the mode is GUI. It's a graphic base. Then it's the pass. It's the pass of your VBox manage. Then you go for the machine. So what you need to do here, as it mentioned here already, if you have more than one virtual machine, uh, let's say if you have virtual box and you have more than one machine, you need to add it here. So machines e space equal space name it. Is the same name as you have in your let me show you here I think I can find my comment uh, okay so you do vbox manage uh, be careful of say case sensitive characters list VMS so you will see the virtual machines you have I'm using Brad modified version so I have two is a uh, Brad and the number two this is here so it's normal one it's a number two so What's the next step? You just add it here uh, by comma, uh, no space and the next comma. Just follow this. And here you go with the first cuckoo, so which is a cuckoo brand for me. Do all the configurations. This is the label. What platform you're using is Windows. What is the IP of your virtual machine, which is 24 mine. Uh, a snapshot, you can name it. Otherwise, it do just a start from a snapshot one and two. Interface, mine is WLAN 0 because I'm using bridge. If you are using um, host only, maybe become, uh, let me show you. You go to settings, you go to the network. So for bridge is WLAN 0, but for host only will be VBox net 0. Cuckoo uh, developers, they suggest you to use uh, host only. But then for internet connection, you are going to use, uh, you are you're going to config your IP tables for some packet forwarding so that the packet can go to the internet through the your host. Okay, so this is your default, uh, this is your interface, network interface. Then you can just leave it here is also your host IP. This one, you don't need to touch it. And uh, here, the windows you are using, you can use 7 or you can use XP, Service Pack 2, uh, which usually that's what they suggest, even it uh, doing with both. So what is the next step? OK, from here, copy whatever you see until here. As I mentioned in my uh, conf here, here is a second VM config. So this is actually end of your file if you don't have uh, any new configuration. So just copy and paste it here, create a new one. And change the label to the, your new uh, Cuckoo virtual machine, which is mine is Cuckoo Brat 2. And change all the config. So this one will change to Cuckoo Brat 2, platform is a still Windows. Be careful the IP is, uh, you can change it to 21. So uh, let me just tell you here, you go to, okay, here virtual machine. Let's say you have the Cuckoo Brad one and uh, you want to have a new one. You don't need to start opening a new one, copy the agent file, install Python or whatever you did uh, since you start. 
uh, all you need is just clone it so you will clone it name it a clone that's for mine and that's all all you need to do is just uh, go inside your cloned open it be careful to change your IP uh, because now it will be same IP because you just clone it change the IP uh, so it will be like minus 20 so this one you can put it 21 change the IP make sure your uh, agent is running make sure all the make sure your XP is boot completely and that's all then just take a snapshot and shut it down okay so that is about the virtual box so this is the IP you're giving here this is the interface still is that lens zero I'm using bridge this is also the host this is also the host port and this one so what we are going to have here is what are we going to do now let's say because I have submitted some malware already uh, I think you know how to submit you are going to let me go to the folder first so my cuckoo is in slash etc slash cuckoo so now what we are going to do we are going to first step to run cuckoo analyzer is you need to submit submit the data set or it's one sample malware or it's a folder it doesn't matter mine is a folder so you need to go to the utils uh, uh, folder inside utils folder there is a python file is submit for submitting the malwares so here is all the paths until here so mine is very 2 within 32 i show you here so on this stuff this is data set Student, week seven. Okay, see ya. So you can see all my malwares are here, and this is the folder is very to win 32. So that's how exactly you do put it on uh, win 32 and just press the enter. It will start adding them to the database, adding uh, the tasks. After this one finished, you just run your cuckoo. Uh, okay, I tell you this one also. This is a uh, how you can clean your kutu, cuckoo let's say you did some analyzing so you're gonna have some uh, folders in your cuckoo storage we go to i don't have it here we go to cuckoo etc we go to storage um, we go to cuckoo we go to storage okay and analysis so you will see like I have 42 analyzed malwares here. Let's say we go to 22. This is the reports. So this is the JSON report. This is a Mike report. So the labeling is starting from one to 42. But let's say some crash happened and you want to start everything from zero. What Cuckoo is going to do is starting to labeling from 43. How you can stop it by cleaning it, by cleaning the Cuckoo, by wipe it. So you're going to the Python cuckoo dash dash clean. So it will clean everything for you. It will start the data set uh, clean from the start, from the beginning. So what you are going to do is run the cuckoo. We are running the cuckoo here. Cuckoo running. It's going to check for the submitted malwares. It suggests you to use MySQL, uh, but the SQL light which is Cuckoo using is fine. You don't need really uh, change the database. Okay, um, I guess my tasks are finished. I'm going to start a new task. Let's say I give it him same folder. Okay. Yeah, I just wiped it so it's a starting from one. So that's enough for me. I uh, twenty. So now we run the cuckoo. So what cuckoo is going to do is oh, okay. Stop it. Let me wipe it again. Okay. So this is the folder we had before white finished so this is the folder we had before etc cuckoo and 
and uh, storage. Uh, okay, okay, it, because it clean everything, so okay, that's how we start from zero. We are going to submit it again. Okay, now it creates a storage folder. There is the storage folder. Okay. So this step is really fast. So let's say 30. Okay, that's enough. So next step is running the cook. Okay. Cuckoo is going to open the virtual machine. It's creating the storage folder. This is your analysis going to. It's two because I have two virtual machines, so it's doing uh, two at the same time. So we have Cuckoo Brat 2 here, we have Cuckoo Brat 1 here, and the analyzing is happening parallel. You can have uh, up to, if I'm not mistaken, 10 virtual machines at the same time. Depends how powerful is your CPUs. And that's all. If any question, just let me know.